Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new mini-series. This is Bucks County, an American map. It has been a long time since I did an American map. I think it was probably Lone Oak, the last one I played on. But this one just looks absolutely fantastic. A really well made map and it's my style. This is really the kind of map that I like to play on. So we are going to just continue as the creator intended. We're going to stick with the starting land, the starting farm. And we are going to start with the machinery which was given to us, but I am going to change probably one tractor for two, possibly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking at the quad tractors over here. We do start off with a very generous amount of machinery. We have a hundred thousand pounds, but yeah, you can see we've got we've got at least three tractors. We've got this one over here, the 8400R, the 6250R, the quad tract which is going to be sold. The 620, and there might be another one. We've got the combine here as well, the T560i. Let me just tap through them. Yes, we also have just here the 6155M. Oh, and look, it's Santa hat. Yeah, very fitting. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I am going to change the quad track, but before anybody says, oh, why? What is the problem? Uh, I'm looking to change it for something quite a bit older and not an exact replacement either obviously this had wheels um, yeah I know it is a downgrade if you look at it in terms of age and probably horsepower as well yeah definitely horsepower but that's fine I I'm just looking for variety here okay so I've just gone ahead and I have selected exactly what I want to have I think this looks really good I know the fields here aren't that big so we're not really looking to have anything Huge. In fact, the quad track might have been too much anyway. Uh, so 97,300. I haven't sold the quad track yet, so it's going to pretty much consume all of our money. Uh, and then we're going to, in a minute, buy. Would it be in large tractors? It is, yeah. This one here, which I actually used on the Eastern European map about 11 months ago. And yeah, I, I really do like this tractor. So again, off screen, I'm going to select all of the different configurations which I want to have, and then we can we can buy it. Uh, so I think probably, I don't know what this is actually worth, but we'll probably be able to get both of those tractors uh, for less than what we get back for this. So we'll probably profit in the end. So where do we have to go? Where is the store? This is totally new to me. It looks like we don't have to go too far, so that's quite nice. We just have to go, uh, I think, down here. Might connect. Or up here. Uh, you can certainly go past the house. We'll, we'll just have a bit of a, a look around. I haven't done a map tour. But yeah, we're looking for this place here. I will keep going this way. I think you probably can get through. We'll find out. But yeah, we have, I think, at least three fields as well. This one here on the left-hand side is ours. Looks like a, a crop which is ripe, ready to harvest. So we can make a start on that. I think there's also another field which is cultivated and it needs to be drilled. So I need to, to plan exactly what we need. I probably need to bring a bit of fertiliser back. I do have a lorry that I want to buy as well, but it's it's quite old. Uh, again, so it should be quite low cost, uh, fairly cheap, I would imagine. But just because it's old and cheap, it doesn't mean it's bad. Quite the opposite. Probably means it's really good. Okay, right, so it probably would appear unusual to some people, especially any American viewers uh, watching somebody who has no idea about agriculture and the machinery in the USA, but maybe it'll be something different. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I, I don't know how agriculture really works over in the USA. I know the machines and the trucks especially are quite different. Well, the tractors are fairly similar, just different configurations. So have I gone wrong yet? It needs to go left here. Good job I checked. I'm not jumping cutting because I want to really show off the map as well since I haven't done a tour. Just keep the minimap open. But you can see it, it looks really good. For anybody who didn't see my last Perfect Valley Farm episode where I was talking about the schedule, basically Tuesdays and Wednesdays are now random. So it could be anything from ETS2 to this. Uh, well, three things actually. The ETS2, um, the Alpine map, 
um, in grass. And also this, we're just going to alternate randomly. So there's no set day for a particular map or game. Okay, it's just going to put this over here. I must point out that this map is running incredibly smoothly. Uh, yes, £467,000. Hey, that's not bad. Um, we will buy the other one now. And we'll probably get some bigger machinery back in the future, like really big, but it just comes down to what fields we actually own. Right, let me just configure this. Is that too much? I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I think it looks good. Um, yeah, I couldn't resist the flotations. Okay, so um, £101,800. Pretty nice. And let's just check the garage in here, see exactly what drills we own. I think it would be good to get a crop in the ground to begin with. Okay, so we actually do have two. We have a direct drill, and we have this one here. Oh, a planter, yeah. Uh, so, planter and a drill, it's pretty nice. We do start off with a decent amount of stuff, but I'm thinking that we could probably upgrade that drill. We'll bring it back to the store next time we come. Uh, I, I should have brought it, I didn't think. But, um, yeah, if I go for something a little bit more like this one here. 12 meters, nice. Yeah, I haven't used this one too much actually, so that's gonna be quite nice. 230 horsepower requirement, and it does direct drill. Uh, so that is gonna be fantastic to have. That alone is 138,500 uh, pounds. So yeah, I can't tell you both at the same time. To begin with, <laughs> okay. Um, fighting for space there. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it on this tractor here, the Case 9330. Row crop special. Yes, I haven't actually studied this yet. It looks so good. Okay, even when I didn't want to get in this one, I have anyway. Let's just take it off. Yeah, that looks, that looks so good. We will be using it very soon. In fact, this is a fantastic tractor to put the planter on with the front hopper and the rear planter. Yeah, so we need seed. I haven't sound checked these, so I don't know if they're, they're too loud for the video. Hopefully they're not. Oh, is that going to fit? I might have to, yeah, reconfigure. Gonna have to put the three point on. Okay, there we go. So, we need to buy probably a couple of pallets of seed. Get that filled up. Where are they? They're just back there. Yes, it is quite big, so it's going to have a fairly big hopper. And yeah, I don't know exactly what crops are grown here, but I think I should be fairly safe with something like wheat and barley. I do apologise for my ignorance. I, I have never been to the USA. I do watch some farming channels. But yeah, it's still not enough for me to know too much about it. But we are in Pennsylvania. I gather. I think we are anyway. Um, all I can say really is it, it seems like a really nice place. Seventy percent should be enough. Hopefully. So the field in question, the one we're going to go to is field number 16, I think. Yeah, well, 16 and 28. So we'll do 16. Well, well, we'll look at 16. I don't know how big they are. I can't really tell. It looks pretty big. Should you always drive down the road with the flashes on? I think you should. With the hazards. You just have to forgive me if I do something wrong. It's all a bit of a learning curve. But yeah, we'll put some wheat in. We'll keep it fairly simple. We could do barley. Wheat or barley? Yeah, I'll do barley. We came from the right. This time I'm going to go to the left. If I have the flashes on there, how do I indicate? Oh well. 
Is it a separate circuit? I don't know. Um, yeah, so... Next turning right. And then we should enter the farm from a, a different direction. We do have traffic too, which is which is nice. It just brings the map alive as well. And there's not so much traffic that you're just constantly crashing into them. Because, of course, I have just opted immediately to have the dual wheels. Okay. Yep. This heads down to our farm. I do want to get the combine out today. I think it'd be good. Let's go into first person. Mind these cars. The field which I mentioned on the way. Field number 17, I think it might have been. So you can see the speed and the RPM is working on the dashboard. It's a nice touch. Everything which I'm using, I think, is available from ModHub. Can't think of anything that I'm using which isn't. I'm uh, pretty sure the John Deere is. I might be wrong. Okay. So here we are. That's field number 15. Again, it is ours. We, we do have... How many do we have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Four fields. So I guess we might as well just start anywhere. I am pleased that I have gone for this drill though, because otherwise it might have taken some time. This drill does demand more power than what we have, I think. But it seems relatively flat, so I don't think it's going to struggle too much. It's not going to struggle at all. It's a beast. Unless I've just got the horsepower wrong. Nope, it is 240. And the drill... Ah, oh, 2.30. Okay. <laughs> Leaves 10 horsepower to propel itself forward. Which it's doing very nicely. So, yeah, I thought when I first started this map, I thought, oh, these fields are fairly small. They're about the same as uh, fields in, in Britain. Well, it depends which county in Britain you're looking at. If you're looking at the Fens, Cambridgeshire, then, yeah, these are... About the same. Some fields are actually bigger around the fens. But if you're looking at, for example, Dorset, on the other hand, yeah, they, they are smaller with much tighter roads. This is just right. Yeah, this is a good sized field. I really do like the amount of trees as well, I think it's really good. Definitely my style. I can see why many of my viewers recommended this map when I asked for a USA map. On my community page I posted which map do you want me to play, which USA map. And not everybody, but the vast majority said Bucks County. You made the right choice, although I'm sure the others are fantastic as well. If only I could look at all of them. It is a mini-series, so we could sort of go through them all. I've barely played any. I've played Lone Oak. And there might have been another. Not sure. Oh, look at the water. Nice. Yes, it's got the detailing, that's for sure. Anyway, we'll crack on. Starting to think I probably should have filled this to the top, but if we have to refill, then we'll just head back. We might be lucky, might get it done. But once this is done, we are going to get the combine started and we will make a, a, a good start on fill number 17. And yes, we will be doing some baling on this farm as well. Although, I would like to do the straw harvest mod again but that'll be later.
well, we are nearing an end. And I did have enough seed. So that's all turned out perfectly, really. Uh, I guess the only way this could have been improved is if I was applying fertilizer at the same time. But, yeah, I don't really need that because we're just going to go over it with a sprayer or something. It's a bit of a luxury. First time I've had to back up. Okay, so yeah, we'll just get that piece there completed. Uh, one thing which is, well, obvious about the fields on this map is that they are all very unique. There's no sort of perfectly rectangular ones. I think actually it might be one of the uh, the few American maps where it probably wouldn't be ideal to use GPS. That's not a bad thing. In fact, I quite like the more unusual shaped fields. Let me show you on here. Yeah, it's... um. I don't know how long it would have taken to design these, but just look at them all. It's incredible. And there we go. The field is finished. Right, so let's just fold this up and put it back in the yard which I think we can access from the top of this field. And yeah, I know we don't need to have so many tractors, but at this stage I don't really know which ones to sell. I think it would be a good idea to keep the one with the front loader. We probably don't need the... I think there was a mid-range. I'll have to take a look again. Yeah, we'll keep the one over there. Where shall I put this? Um, probably the same shed as where the majority of the tractors are, which is just here. That is the other thing I'm not really used to, the articulated tractors. But it's fine. That has been really nice to use. So obviously we need to go and retrieve the, uh, the other John Deere. But which one of these do we not need? Probably... I don't know. I, I can't decide. I will figure it out. So I'm guessing we can get through these doors. Yeah, that's probably a better shed, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking to buy the lorry as well. Quite a few. Uh, the International Transstar just looks fascinating. I don't know. If I'm going to get it now, or if I should get it later. Um, there's also the BSMs. Uh, well, these are probably a bit too European. I should get this again on another map, actually, a British map. But yeah, th this one here is very, very interesting. 550 horsepower. I'm going to stick with the original colour scheme because it just looks interesting. Um, right, okay, so that 550 put £70,000 on. Maybe we'll stay original to begin with. We could always upgrade it later. And I do need a trailer. Just thinking, we probably should get a trailer. The BSM one. Again, it's tempting. I'm going to go with a fairly similar colour scheme. Okay, I, I quite like that. Coming to unadventurous and everything, I don't usually like to use, what would it be, 1970s, 80s colour scheme? 70s, I guess. But it just seems to be very fitting for the, uh, the truck which we're going to be running on it. It's probably way too big. I just don't know. <laughs> um, I know nothing about these things. That seems fine, but that is just so unusual, to me at least, 
very well made. So I guess we should go and harvest some grain. Go and harvest some, uh, what was it, wheat? Wheat or barley? Yeah, this is interesting. International. Well, we're having no issues with the power. Seems to work really well. But by the look of it, we probably should have it on a smaller trailer. But it's fine, we, we can change it later. And yeah, I know we're supposed to stop at stop signs. Oh, yeah, the other thing which I noticed, which was a really nice touch, was the uh, addition of trucks, the different trucks, for the uh, the traffic. Typical, there's none at the moment, but yeah, I was uh, very impressed by that. I think what I'll do is I'll put this tractor unit on a bale trailer, a flatbed trailer, and then we'll get another truck to run the grain trailer. Probably a bigger, more modern one. But that'll be in the next video, after I've heard everybody's suggestions. Because I admit, it does look a bit big. Uh, right, so this is probably actually one of the most unusual fields on the map. Yeah, because it goes all around here. We've got a little island in the middle. Fascinating stuff. Uh, let's get the cover removed from this, and then we can unload as we go past. Just tab across this. The T50... No, sorry, the T560i. And there is the header. Nicely positioned, so we can just attach to it. Well, the header trailer. I don't think you can go too wrong with a John Deere or a Case in this part of the world. I'm sure there are other uh, popular brands as well. New Holland, if I'm not mistaken. Right, okay. Um, I guess, yeah, we'll just put that there. Something I need to get used to. The amount of open space. The yard just goes straight into the field. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Actually, I think we should probably put quite a bit of our money into a combine upgrade, because although this is big, it's not really big enough. So, maybe sell another tractor, and then with the money, get a big combine, because if we sell this combine as well, then we should be able to afford it. Yeah, I, I can see myself changing the combine before I've even done two laps of the headland. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it does seem exceptionally small, but of course we just inherited this, so that is still a pretty good deal. I just don't know how much a new combine would be. That's the thing. I certainly would like to go for the older machinery and not really buy much new stuff. Obviously new trailers and implements, but not so much the tractors and combines. I think the combines might be difficult. We might have to get a new one. But as you've already seen with the trucks and tractors, we're going older. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go around the headland. Well, obviously. <laughs> That's what I'm in the middle of doing. But before I change it I will certainly make one and one full lap of the, uh, the head end of the field and from there we can decide what to do financially to be able to support the purchase of a new combine
Okay, no doubt about it, we want to go big with the combine. Definitely, I want to get the combine done fairly quickly. And next time I'm going to have a big baler behind on a tractor on Follow Me. And then we can use a four stack for the big bales to put it into a big stack so that we can pick them up. Gonna have to try and find some kind of wheel loader or something to then put onto a, a flatbed trailer. So it's gonna be a fairly big operation, but I don't want to continue with the harvesting now because I really would love to hear your opinion on the best combine to buy. Like I say, big header, big combine, but which one? That is the tricky decision. Maybe there is a, a better one on Mod Hub or something. Maybe not a base game machine. So before we finish today, there is one more thing I want to do. I need to bring back the other John Deere and I want to sell one. I think probably the best one to sell is that sort of mid-range one. I think if we sell, well the drill, 56,940 plus 20% I think it is, and also it was this one here, I think. 6250R. That should then give us quite a bit of money. The combine is 226 plus, I think it is 20%, and the headers and stuff. Um, so that is going to leave us with quite a bit. Of course, we do need to buy the baler. I should probably buy it straight away. Or we could lease it. That is fine as well. Um, yeah, so we will go with Matthew Ferguson Heston. Definitely better to lease for that one. But I do want to buy the machines if possible. Okay, so yeah, there we go. It is a huge field. I've sort of split it into sections. So that should make harvesting easier. But if we just fire up this one and then take that drill with us. Where is it? Probably in a different shed. Very happy with the purchases today though. Yeah, the John Deere which I bought at the beginning of the episode sort of replaces this one here. And as I said, it leaves us with the high horsepower one in case we need it for the baler. Uh, 450. So yeah, that is pretty good. Right, so let's head off. I'll go the same way as before. It's also a cow farm, so we do have the cows as well, and a chicken farm. And looks like we have a, a fill point for herbicide and fertilizer. So that's pretty good. I've barely even looked at the yard. Slurry. Yeah, it just looks really good. I, I really do like this map. And that field is interesting. But we just have to get a big machine into there do the baling at the same time. We use variable bale, so we can have a capacity of like 10,000 or maybe even 20, because we're going to get so many bales in total. So uh, yeah, sorry about this tractor, but we can't keep them all. As I said, it was impressive, the amount that we started off with. And we're still up, we're still up one, because we bought two today. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll just pull over for you. Still looking out for the truck. I saw loads, maybe they're only on one particular route. Well, I'm sure you saw it anyway when we were time lapsing. There's my John Deere. It will also be good to spread out quite a bit. Yeah, there are quite a few big fields. I thought there were more smaller ones, but actually, even when they look fairly small on the minimap here, they are huge. So 25, I need to take note, 25 is huge, even though it doesn't look particularly big. So yeah, we, we really do have a fantastic assortment of map sizes. These have got to be worth a fortune. Brand new, never used. I've also enabled Workshop Tabber, so if they're both in the trigger, we can sell them both. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we just made uh, quite a bit. We're already up to 358. Plus the combine, five, six hundred thousand. 
Right, yeah, love this tractor. Are the flags too much? I don't know. Let me know, please just post your opinion down below on everything. I just thought, yeah, it's great, because you so many different things, so many different ways of customising. We'll just take everything. Don't know if this tractor will run this baler, but it's fine if it doesn't. We have 450 other horses in another tractor. Ah, here's the truck. Fantastic. Good timing. Nice. Right, so yeah, we're just going to put this back in the yard, ready for next time. And then we can buy the new combine, get it all done, get it all bailed at the same time, or follow me. And then I want to use the four stack. I haven't used the four stack for a long time. And it's the four stack for the big bells, not just the standard base game one. as well get this thing started up I don't have variable bell yet but that's fine I can force an unload of the baler so that we can enable it I will just get back up to the trailer then we have a starting point for next time yeah looking at how fast that's filling up I would say we would just go with like 10 or 20,000 litres per bale because we're still going to have loads there'll be so many and it would just make the transporting of them faster so we can move on it's still going to be a big job ok yep so that can stay there thank you so much for watching really do hope you have enjoyed it um, and yeah until next time which will be sometime uh, <laughs> there will be one fairly soon probably in a week's time Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.